He's five foot two and he's six feet four. He fights with missiles and with spears. He is all of 31 and he's only 17. He's been a soldier for a thousand years. He's a Catholic, a Hindu, an atheist, a Jain, a Buddhist and a Baptist and a Jew. And he knows he shouldn't kill, and he knows he always will. Kill you for me, my friend, and me for you. And he's fighting for Canada, and he's fighting for France, and he's fighting for the USA. And he's fighting for the Russians, and he's fighting for Japan. And he thinks we'll put an end to war this way. And he's fighting for democracy, and he's fighting for the Reds. He says it's for the peace of all. He's the one who must decide who's to live and who's to die. And he never sees the writing on the wall. But without him, how would Hitler have condemned him at Dachau? And without him, Caesar would have stood alone. He's the one who gives his body as a weapon of the war. And without him, all this killing can't go on. He's the universal soldier, and he really is to blame. His orders come from far away no more. They come from here and there, and you and me and brothers, can't you see? That this is not the way we put the end to war.